Okay guys, so I have a solar cone A99 on a 14 foot uh, pipe and what I want to do, I want to install homemade pretty much ground plane which is going to be attached to the pipe on the highest point and um, I don't know if that's going to work or not but that's going to be my project for today so we see what's gonna happen. We're gonna weld a couple things and then we'll see if it's gonna hold or not. Okay, so I drilled the holes in the mast. Pretty much one across one, two, and then three. So we're gonna have a three, six of a ground plane, uh, whatever they call the uh, threaded rods. And I got something like this in a uh, metal store. I think so. This is like a. I don't know what they call this, but this is something that goes in the concrete. And then you. They have those small pieces in here that goes inside. While you threading the rod, this thing spreads in the concrete and holds the uh, metal rod in the concrete. So I'm going to use this. Um, what I did, I used the uh, comb drill right here. I found the dimension that, uh, the third dimension right here, it's perfect size. So I drilled it. This is gonna go in. And what I try to do is put this piece inside and then pound it in so it spreads in the metal, holds it, and then I'm gonna weld it around. And we see if that's gonna work so let's see we're gonna try to push this inside uh, that's gonna well it's spreading uh, oh no, is, it, is it crooked? So it looks like you can adjust. Yeah, it's spreading because you can see it's thicker in here. Let's go a little bit more. Okay. Now you can see it's already getting thicker in here, so this thing is spreading. I just want to push this as much as I can so I can use the thread inside. Let's see. This thing is about right here. Some more. to weld it in here and we got five more to go okay so I have those uh, those are six millimeter uh, threaded rods and I bought those from Home Depot they they come as a 10 foot uh, piece each one is 10 foot long so I cut it in half it's five feet long right now and those are almost a quarter inch thickness it's 0 0.23 0 0.23 which is equivalent to six millimeters and now this will fit in here actually works all right so it holds and it's five feet long we have to do five more Then also we're gonna put the uh, knot later on. We're gonna kind of tie this knot against this piece so it keeps the uh, 
the whole rod from unscrewing on its own from wind and from vibration so well now I gotta put five more welded and see what happens One more. I gotta clean it, chain it maybe and uh, check the thread and everything. Okay, so the anchors are welded in, now it's going to be time to paint it, wait for the paint to dry and then uh, put those rods in, see they have thread in here, so thread, I'm going to thread it in, uh, 5 foot uh, long uh, rods and we see what happens I don't know maybe it will work maybe not we see all right so I paint it and it looks like those uh, rods are going in no problem obviously kind of hard to do with one hand and then with the phone but that's gonna be the whole concept I'm gonna put six of them five feet tall and then uh, we see what the uh, SWR will be and we'll see what's gonna happen okay so antenna is back in the uh, back in the air on the 14 foot uh, mast and you guys can you guys can see those uh, welded in uh, what is it uh, right there that's the one threaded kind of anchors that I welded in I'm gonna put uh, all those six threaded rods that I have in here and um, that will be kind of it for for today for the project then I'm gonna check the SWR and 
we see what's gonna happen and uh, if there's any change or not all right let me put those things on the top of the uh, antenna and let's see how they look okay so I put those rows back and I can see that they are a little bit too soft the material is too soft so they kind of wobble we see how how they're gonna uh, be affected by the wind and all that stuff I might put some kind of shrink tube over it and uh, make maybe uh, that will make them a little bit more stiff so as you can see I'm gonna go on the ladder I also put the knot in there just to make sure that they won't unscrew so I kind of type the uh, knot against this uh, piece of uh, tube or whatever they call this with the thread and um, I had to make the uh, little bit bigger spread between this and this for the antenna so we see that was a crazy project I don't know if it's gonna do anything or not but I had time today nothing to do so that was one of the things that I always want to do mess with it and see what happens so there you have it Antron actually it's not the Ant well, Antron but they changed the name to Solarcon this is Solarcon A99 with the ground plane uh, you can buy a ground plane from the companies I think so it's 88 bucks but I think so they are under a uh, angle like this which I think so is 120 degrees I'm not sure this is 90 so we see them and um, I've been told by my buddy that if you do 90 degree ground plane the waveform it's gonna be a little bit m more like this so it's gonna raise supposedly this will make uh, this antenna a little bit better for skip than for uh, local conversations so we see I don't know I'm kind of limited in my house how high the antenna can be this is maximum this is 14 foot uh, pipe and and then solar con I can't go too high because of the rules and regulations in neighborhood so I'm doing my best with this and you know we'll see what happens I already talked to Australia and uh, with the skip of course and Canada East Coast so seems like that antenna you know for for basic CB it's uh, it's a good starting point and you can mess with it a little bit so well let me guys know what you guys think and any other advice or something would be nice if you guys have any other ideas and experience and you guys did something that worked for basic station and you know basic antenna then let me know